From working home to learning new things virtually, the pandemic has forced us all to adapt and develop new skills. And since then, I realized that I acquired 10 new skills that I wasn't proficient in previously. And those skills have really helped me adapt to this new post pandemic way that we live. Since the pandemic, I have added the skill of time management to my life and it has made a significant impact. Before COVID, I was a major procrastinator. I have ADHD and it was very hard for me to actually get things done timely and let alone keep a calendar or anything of that nature. I've created a schedule for both professional and personal tasks and I've been able to stick with it. And this has allowed me to be more productive and organized. When I realized I wanted to make YouTube videos and I wanted to go all in and produce one to two high quality videos every week, I knew I had to get very clear and intentional with my time management skills because outside of working a 40 hour work week and having multiple other side gigs and having a girlfriend that requires all my attention and then trying to find a way to fill this in, I had to figure it out. I needed to make time. If there wasn't time, I needed to make time. And now that I've become a lot more proficient in my time management skills, it's allowed me to find hours in the day to actually do this and make these videos when I thought that it would have been impossible. The next skill that I have now that I didn't have before was self-motivation. Before the pandemic, I was somewhat a motivated person. I found success in my career and I was doing the best I could. But the pandemic forced me to work from home a lot of the time and that hurt my productivity significantly. I was no longer surrounded by my colleagues and I could no longer rely on external sources to keep me motivated. So finding a way to become a self-motivated person when I'm now in an environment where I'm everything but was my saving grace at that time. I was able to stay motivated and focused and productive during this time because I was starting to set achievable goals that I could break down into smaller goals and then work towards accomplishing them and staying on track. I also found the time to recognize my accomplishments and find success in those things and rewarding myself when I was put in an environment where I had all these distractions around me and I still just had to find a way to stay focused and motivated on my objectives. And now that I've become a more self-motivated person, I find that I'm able to take on more, which has led to more profitability and being able to take on more tasks that I'm able to complete in the same amount of time. The next skill is focusing more on self-care. I think that we can all agree that since the pandemic, self-care has become just a high level of importance to most people. So if you guys haven't already learned this about me, I'm one of those environmental people where if I need to read, I'm going to a library. If I need to work, I'm going to an office. And if I'm going to work out, I'm going to a gym. And when the pandemic happened, all the gyms were closed and it was like impossible to get at home weights. Remember when a 10 pound barbell was like $3,000 and when the gyms closed, I closed too. I stopped going and I got really unhealthy. I wasn't working out at all and I started eating like crap and drinking and it all compounded into just me just being a shell of my former self. And that was a hard transition for me because I wasn't happy in my own body at that point anymore and I wasn't taking care of myself and now looking back, I'm only so much more hyper aware of how important self care is for me, especially when I saw how many people passing away that were just a little unhealthy. So now I put a high emphasis on my sleep, my eating, working out, uh, putting on face lotion, uh, taking vitamin D, just all the little things that most people just neglect. And overall, this has improved my mental well being. It's making me even more healthy than I was before. And now I'm just really motivated and dialed. And I know that self care is a big part of why. The next skill that I've gotten really good at is my adaptability. Being able to adapt to different situations has allowed me to stay ahead of the curve and remain on top of everything. When COVID hit and we all needed to make just rapid changes in our life, at first, I didn't think I was ready. I was so accustomed to doing the exact same thing every day, going to work, back and forth, having just a very, I guess, mundane but predictable day-to-day -day routine. And I needed to adjust from that to working a more unpredictable remote lifestyle. And being chief staff, I didn't have a choice but to adapt immediately and make sure that I was up to date on all the new technologies that we needed in order to run at the same proficient level as when we were in the office. And I was forced to adapt rapidly. I had to learn how to communicate differently, as I'm sure most of you guys did as well when you jumped on Zoom calls and things were just very 
unordinary and you didn't know what you were doing. And as a result of making all these fast, quick adjustments, not only were we able to keep operating, but we were all profiting even more because we were first out of the gate to do these things. And as a result, we were able to get more business because of this. And my new adaptability has allowed me to get creative and find more ways to generate revenue. So for this YouTube channel, I had to find a way to make my house look like a somewhat professional, I think, studio. And I think I've somewhat gotten to that point and I didn't think I'd be able to do it because there's not a lot of space in my apartment, but here you go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is What should I change or am I have I adapted well? The next new skill that I have gotten much better at is my leadership skills. The pandemic created an environment of unpredictability, uncertainty, and a lot of people were freaked out and it forced people that were in executive level roles to really step up to the bat and see what they were made of. I had to take a more hands-on active role within my company and really act as more of a leader than I already was portrayed to be. I had to be a lot more confident with myself and my decision-making. There were times where I doubted if I was a good leader and this pandemic was really the ultimate test for me because it really was like, all right, are you? Let's see, because if you're not, you're probably not gonna have a job. And so now that I have these leadership qualities, like for sure, and I'm a lot more confident in them, I know that I can take them wherever I go and lead a team successfully like I have been. The next skill is networking. And I'm an introvert, let me just tell you right now, and this was a hard skill to really get good at. And with the rapid development of technology, you have no excuse. There is every which opportunity to network and use that leverage to your benefit. And since the pandemic, networking has become even more important because when we had social distancing and all these other restrictions that were taking the interpersonal one-on-one -on -one connections away, we had to find ways to communicate with people in new ways. I grew my networking skills by sucking it up and putting myself out there more. I used LinkedIn a lot more to communicate with colleagues and found different social media platforms where I could still forge new relationships and try to not be in complete isolation during that time. And since then, I have found to be a lot more confident. I feel a lot less introverted now. And I mean, shit, I'm, I'm making YouTube videos. Like, it's crazy. The next skill that I've really put a lot of time into is my critical thinking skills. Critical thinking has become a lost art, I feel like, but it is something that has been so important and critical in navigating this new world. Since the pandemic began, it was my responsibility to figure out ways to run the businesses that we had. It forced me to really weigh out all the decisions that I had to make and look at all the positives and negatives of each one. Weigh out the potential outcomes and make informed choices that would allow us to continue to operate without any issues. I have since used these skills to identify areas of improvement for my business and in my personal life. By examining that data objectively, I've been able to find opportunities where my energy is best well spent and that I could actually make real change. Next is empathy. Since the pandemic began, I've just made a conscious effort to be a lot more empathetic with people. And I've tried to be more attuned with the needs of my colleagues, my friends, my family, and everyone else around me that I can actually help. And this has enabled me to be able to provide support for them during difficult times. It's also helped me develop relationships that are more meaningful and satisfying. And I've become a lot more aware of the needs and feelings of our clients and how I can better service them. And this has allowed me to build stronger relationships with those clients, which has led to more business and more profitability as well. The next skill is creativity. And this is one that I'm so glad I have learned because I didn't think I was very creative most of my life. And this creativity has led me down the path of starting this YouTube channel, which is something I'm super passionate about, I'm finding out, and just getting better every day at making videos and editing and graphic design. And I love it so much. And I'm learning so much more every day. And I'm just putting my creativity to work and I'm finding just I'm waking up every day really excited and improving and I love seeing those results. And seriously, if the pandemic never happened, I probably wouldn't have tried this because I wouldn't have had all these crazy adjustments of me having to learn how to do things more remotely and pick up a camera and learn these other skill sets and just realize that life's short and seeing people around me pass away and me realizing that I should not hold back towards doing things that actually make me happy and just going for it. And that leads into the next skill which I had none of before which is patience. 
I've never been a very patient person. I've always been a I need it now person. And to my detriment, it has not been something that has worked out very well. And when I had to learn all these new skills and make these adjustments in my workplace and my life in general, I had to learn patience because I wasn't familiar with any of this territory. And the old me was struggling very hard because I wasn't getting those initial results that I'm used to getting. I had to actually work and make adjustments. And that's led into this channel because now that I know it takes a long time to actually see results on here, I'm okay with that patience and I'm leaning into it because I know most people would quit by now and they're 27, 30 videos in by now and they're not seeing the results they want because they can get them somewhere else like TikTok and this just isn't the place for that. And so I'm glad I learned that skill during this time because I'm able to remain patient in this process. Anyway, those are the skills I learned and I'm not saying I'm glad the pandemic happened, but I'm saying that I found a way to use it to my benefit and come up with new skills that would allow me to succeed in this new age that we are living in that is still unknown and is still completely uncertain. None of these skills were skills I was born with, but just so you know, these are all skills that you can learn despite where you think you lie on certain spectrums of things like networking and being an introvert don't work. But I have since leaned into just, I guess, the uncomfortableness of talking to people in ways that I wasn't really used to and finding that I'm pretty good at it now and that I'm using it to my advantage to make new connections and profit and every other thing in between. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe and share with someone that you feel like can benefit from learning these skills. Perhaps you'll want to watch another one of my videos. I do new videos every week on optimizing your mental, physical, and financial health. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.